Welcome to the Mayor's Message of August 6th, 2020. Goodness, August. I'm Mayor Ron Jensen. Let's start with a few new updates. From 7 p.m. August 7th to 5 a.m. August 10th, I-30 will be closed from Collins to 161 and traffic will be rerouted to Main Street so that the 360 bridge can be taken out as part of an ongoing construction. Let's move on to the census. In Tarrant County, census workers may knock on your door if you haven't responded to the 2020 census, which is easy to do online at my2020census.gov. Now in Dallas County, the door-to-door -door census workers should start in September. You can print out your documents at Shotwell Library for free to up to a $3 value between 9 a.m. and noon, Monday through Friday. This is for the month of August only. And congratulations to our EMS service, which is celebrating 20 years of service this month. On August 1st, 2000, the first city-owned ambulance transported its first patient. 20 years later, the Grand Prairie Fire Department averages 8,300 medical transports a year. The infrastructure and training were already in place within the fire department. It just made sense to bring our outsourced EMS in-house and provide such an invaluable service to our citizens and visitors. Our EMS department began with seven ambulances and 42 paramedic firefighters. Currently, we have 217 paramedic firefighters because all of our firefighters are paramedics. We now operate 10 ambulances and serve over 81 square miles in four counties and six public school districts within the city of Grand Prairie. Our GP EMS has received multiple recognitions throughout the years from the American Heart Association, including the coveted Gold Award and the North Central Texas Trauma Regional Advisory Council. Before we dive into COVID news, let's talk a little bit about kindness. Listen, I know everybody's under a lot of stress. I mentioned this a few weeks ago. Life is still going on though. People are losing their jobs. They're getting evicted. We need to show some kindness. If you have a job and can't afford it, buy somebody's meal when you're out. Pay for somebody behind you when you're going through the drive through counter. Call somebody that you haven't spoken to in a while just to lift them up. Send a message, write a letter, you know what you need to do. Show some kindness. A lot of stress right now, an awful lot of stress. You may not be feeling it, but your neighbors are. Be the one that helps bridge the gap with them. Be the one that settles them down. Be the one that they can talk to. Let's try to just show a little kindness during this stressful time. Regarding COVID-19, you can see from our charts that the seven-day rolling averages continue to trend downward in Dallas and Tarrant counties. GPISD will start virtual learning on August 17th, and on September 8th, all of the students will be able to choose whether they go in person or virtually. As of July 28th, 62% have requested the virtual instruction option, with 38% requesting face-to-face -face instruction. 55 businesses in Grand Prairie have received funding from the Dallas County Emergency Business Assistance Program with $25.4 million in assistance awarded. A third round of funding for businesses in Dallas County opens August 10th. Businesses interested can apply at this website address. Ten businesses in Grand Prairie have received funding through the Tarrant County Emergency Assistance Program. A second round should be announced August 14th. The Grand Prairie Chamber of Commerce and Asia Times Square continue to serve as designated application assistance centers. We've distributed almost $135,000 in assistance through Grand Prairie United Charities who continue to serve residents in need during this COVID-19 pandemic. In addition, we've extended the free drive through and at-home testing through August 20th for the people who live and work in Grand Prairie. So far, we've tested more than 6,800 people in 10 weeks Visit gptx.org for more information. Until next week, stay safe, be kind, wear a mask, and socially distance. See you next week.